on some laptops, there's just going to be like a little compartment, a uh, little door that you can unscrew and then lift up and then the hard drive, we we'll just take it out, replace it, and then that's fine, put the cover back on. But for this laptop and many others, uh, there are like 15 screws you have to take out all around the, the uh, back, the underside, and then remove the entire bottom uh, piece. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get to it. Okay, so now that we have all the um, all the screws out of the bottom cover, let's make, just making sure that didn't accidentally leave any in. Um, the drive, oh, the CD drive will usually be able to taken out, and then there's almost always going to be um, some more um, screws under that underneath that. So we'll remove those. Sometimes under these rubber feet, there are um, screws, but I don't think that this one has that problem or that feature. And so what you kind of have to do is go around and kind of see where it might be um, holding on. On most laptops, there's going to be a seam around the entire edge of the laptop. And what you're gonna wanna do is take something called a spudger um, it's kind of like a flat piece of plastic or metal, or you can use a guitar pick and go around the edges, prying it apart. Sorry about this picture being blurry, but this is what the spudger would look like. I'm not sure if you need to take that piece out, but it's extremely easy and done the same way as you would take off the edges. Okay, I got this side, because it has less connectors I have to deal with, and then I think I can just kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit as to um, knock the connections on this side of the laptop out of place, and then we can lift it up, and there we go. So that's how you open up the bottom panel of the laptop. Um, there's the M.2 SSD that I'm pointing at in that picture. Um, that can be replaced just by removing one screw and replacing with another drive of the same type. Um, the hard drive on the right is done the same way as the M.2 drive, um, except there are two screws. Uh, then you replace with the same type of drive. Then the memory is in the middle, and all you have to do is unlatch those latches on the uh, sides that are holding the memory down, and you can replace those. To put the laptop back together, it's just a reverse process, and please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.